Hey everyone, in this video I want to talk about space repetition, which is something that's really neat to me. Um, it's gaining popularity, more and more people are starting to use space repetition, which I think is really cool. It's something that I knew about four, five, six, eight years ago um, that it seemed like not many people knew about. So this is neat, all right? If you don't know what this is, you're going to be pretty excited to learn about it. Um, and for those of you who do know what it is, great. Um, I'm just gonna geek out for a minute, so bear with me. Uh, you know, in the description below, um, I'm gonna provide a link to a, a set of Anki flashcards for the CompTIA Network Plus exam. And for those of you who already know about Anki, you're gonna be probably really excited about that. Um, so check out the link below for the Anki flashcards. Um, and then I'm also gonna talk about Anki and provide a link to Anki for those who don't have it, that way they can download it and just enjoy the greatness that is Anki. So, what are we talking about? And what we're really talking about here in this video is um, what's behind Anki and what makes it work, and that's space repetition. So a lot of neuroscientists, a lot of people pursuing PhDs, a lot of people who have a lot of information they have to learn and study and consume into their brain um, are using space repetition to do this. And it's a very simple, scientifically proven way to learn things and commit them to long-term memory. So to start us off, I just want to talk about um, everything that has been written on this and how effective it actually is. So this is just one academic article here that I've found doing a quick Google search, Google search if I can speak, on space repetition. And if we scroll down and look at the work cited, we can see that the work cited just keeps going and going and going, right? So space, space repetition, it works. It's something that you can use to pass your CompTIA Network Plus exam. Um, I'm gonna be uploading a CYSA study deck for um, CompTIA as well in the future. Just, just stay tuned, guys, a lot coming. Um, we'll probably upload one for Security Plus and all the rest, but check it out. So the way this is gonna work is if you say start learning something today i think it's like february the 8th right now 2024 and you don't study that information again you say you don't study it ever again well your curve of forgetting that information uh is going to be pretty steep right um your ability to recall that information is, is going to drop off a cliff if you just study for one day and you're not going to commit a whole lot of long-term memory so if we assume this is how much is committed to long-term memory for just studying one day it's not very much but if we study, say, three days later, and then four days later, and then five days later, and six days later, um, we might actually commit more to our long-term memory. And eventually, um, that curve is slowly gonna flatten out. So the more we repeat that information, um, we'll eventually be able to get that uh, information more linear, right? And so what Anki does, this is Anki desktop that you're staring at, what it does is it will actually give you uh, those those cards and those flashcards um, in a spaced repetition way, or it's gonna be repetitive, right? So let's go ahead and let's import that file that we downloaded from landtagjobs.com. Um, if I go here to import file, I can select the uh, flashcard download file, which is gonna be a CSV, click open. And then what you want to do, and for those who don't know, and you should know if you're trying to study for um, anything security related or IT related, is that a CSV file is comma separated. So I'm going to just select that our field separator is a comma, right? So this is how you're going to actually import your digital download into Anki. So I just selected uh, comma for the separator, for the delineator, and I can see the flashcards pull up here. So for what we've done is for each exam objective section um, we've just on the front and back of the card said new category in this case the first category is networking fundamentals and we and then we go in the order of the exam objectives as per comptia um, so anytime you see a new category flashcard that's what that's going to be it's going to be signifying a new category on the comptia exam objectives for network plus so we've selected comma for the separator and then down here we'll see default as the deck. Now this is going to be the actual name of your deck and you'll be able to rename this later. So I just leave that as default and then what I'm going to do is click import. Now this is going to let me know everything was imported successfully. 564 flashcards, great. We'll click close. What I can do is I can actually click this icon right here, this little gear icon, and I can rename this. In our case we'll just say Network Plus. Click OK. 
and then there we have it. Now it's gonna give me 30 cards to study today, but you can change that. You can ask it to only give you 10 cards to study. You can ask it to uh, give you 100 cards to study. Um, that's all up to you. What's important to know is how this is gonna work, right? So here we are on our category card. I'm just gonna click show answer. Okay, I'm about to dive into the networking fundamentals portion of the deck. I'm gonna say that's easy. I don't need to see the category card again. And then it's gonna give me my first flash card. Now, when right click, click the show answer. If I say, man, that was really hard, like I need to see it again, then it's going to show me this card again one minute from now, okay? Um, so it's gonna give me some other cards in the meantime, and then it's gonna show me this card again. If I click good, it might, only, it might wait 10 minutes. If I say, all right, that was easy, I've mastered this card for today, then it's gonna wait until tomorrow to show me that card. Now, tomorrow, when I see that card, if I say easy again, it may wait four days. If I forget it, it may take me back down to um, you know, one day or a minute. Um, and in this way, it's gonna space out what you learn as you slowly solidify that content and information. So um, that's pretty much the gist of how to import cards um, and how to use that digital download in the link below. But I also wanna talk about Anki Mobile, which you can get on your phone. It will actually sync everything from the free desktop app. So where the desktop app is free, you can get Anki Mobile. Um, you, have to, you have to pay for it, but you can use it on your phone and on the go. Um, this also gives you access to Anki Web, so you can store your or, you know, all of your cards in the cloud, which is kind of nice, and you can sync between your desktop app and your mobile app, so you can study on your desktop or you can study while you're on the go. It's pretty great, um, highly recommended. Now, where do we go to access all of this and get this information? Um, if you go over here to landtechjobs.com, and then once you uh, sign up for basic access or unlimited access, once we go to ebook and downloads, we can see we've got access to the Anki flashcards. And then for those who are into more of a printable tactile, you can put your hand on it kind of flashcard. Um, we have a printout that you can get. It's just a lot of cutting because it's a lot of flashcards. The exam is a huge exam. Um, and then of course we also have the ebook. Um, so you can download the ebook and check that out. But um, again, guys, more to come soon in the future. Uh, I think basic access members are going to get access to pretty much every Anki deck that I create in the cybersecurity, computer networking, um, computer certification space. So I'm pretty excited about a lot more and more content, guys. My plan is just to just keep adding value um, and try and share what I learn as I learn it. So I hope you enjoy these videos and uh, yeah, hope to see you in the next one. Till then, take care.